Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the different types of the supports. We have three main supports here. These are the roller, hinge and the fixed supports. And these three types of the supports have different functions and they are used in different conditions. So to understand these three different types of the supports, I will explain this with the help of the figures with the practical example in order to clarify clarify the main difference between these type of the supports but first we have to understand the theory behind these supports so the three different of types of the supports are shown here by the graphical representation the roller support the hinge support and the fixed support so to start first of all with the roller support so roller support is a type of support that can only take the vertical reaction ry it can only take the vertical reaction what does it, it mean for example if there is any load uniformly distributed load or pointed or concentrated load acting on this beam so these roller support which are represented by circle they are represented only by circle so if you see circle so it means it's a roller support so they can only take the vertical reaction if this is the load UDL uniformly distributed load so they can take only the vertical reaction of the load if there is any horizontal force acting on this beam so it will not be able to take the horizontal load so they are only responsible to take the vertical load represented by ry now what is the hinge support so in case of the hinge support it is always represented by a triangle you see here a triangle and they can take both the vertical reaction and also horizontal so there are two reactions that can provide this type of the support so for example if i suppose that there is inclined load acting on this beam so which is the vertical and horizontal component is inclined load so it is one vertical component and also one horizontal component so now this support can take the horizontal load Rx and also take the vertical load Ry. Similarly, this support can take the vertical load Ry and also take the horizontal load is Rx. So these type of the supports are used where we have to resist both the horizontal and vertical forces. So this was the second kind of the support reaction. Now let's come to the third type of the reaction which is a third kind of support which is fixed support in this case it can take both the word both the vertical and horizontal and also it can take the movement that causes by the forces so what does it mean it means if i consider here this for example any uniformly distributed load acting on this beam this is udl so what will happen there will be some vertical reaction to this load is ry and if I, I also consider some horizontal load on this beam for example this is any horizontal load if x is any, any horizontal load acting on this beam so this horizontal load will be also resisted here at this end with the rx and also due to this uniformly distributed load it will create some movement here like in this direction so in order to resist this movement this fixed support will provide the movement resistance here in this direction in the opposite direction to the load movement which is represented by m so it can take both the vertical and horizontal reaction and also it can take the moment now to explain this in practical that how it looks in practical so we will go here to this slide in which we will start first with the roller support so as I explained that it can only take the vertical reaction. So now this is for example in a beam. This is in a beam. And there, there is a self weight of the beam. And also for example there is any uh, service load acting on this beam is UDL. Uniformly distributed load. So we can see here that uh, due to the vertical load there are two supports provided. Here will be the reaction and here will be the reaction. And we can see here that there is no such uh, reinforcement that will go from this column, this support into the beam. So there is no such monolithic 
uh, connection we can see here but just a support provided here to the beam so this kind of support where it can only resist the vertical load of the beam will be known as the rotor support so this is the rotor support and this is also a rotor support now for example here we have another type of the structure where we will show the hinge support where it can take the both vertical and horizontal direction now how it will happen for example this is any load inclined load acting on this beam so we have we will have the vertical component of the load and also the horizontal component of the load if this is if so if y and if x are the two components of this load acting on the beam so now here we can see that this is a hinge support why this is a hinge support now i'll explain why because we see here that the vertical reaction is provided by this part of the support that the beam due to this vertical load this beam will try to go in this direction so what happens this will provide the resistance in the upper direction to the load so this is the vertical reaction r y and due to the horizontal force acting on the beam it will try to displace this beam in the horizontal direction so we will have also some horizontal reaction because of this part of the column we will have the horizontal resistance to the load so this is rx so we have both rx and ry in our um, a column that's why we call it a hinge support here we can see that there is no such uh, support provided to the beam on this side so it can take only the vertical load so it is ry so this kind of support will be known as the rotor support here now the third kind of support which is a fixed support the fixed support is only constructed when we have monolithic con construction between the column and beam or between the slab and a column and so on so how to define this fixed support it can take the vertical load it can take the horizontal load and it can also resist the moment now if this is my beam here and this is joined with the column for example here the reinforcement in the column is is being passed through the beam these are the reinforcement bars and also there here is the, in the beam reinforcement this is being passed through the column so due to the so due to the monolithic construction of this reinforcement and both these structure members what we will see here that here we have a uh, joint here between the column and beam so now when the load acts on the structure and when this structure try try to deflect here like in this way so the beam and column will move both in the same direction for example the beam moves like in this way and similarly the column will also try to go with the beam so what we see here a monolithic construction or a joint between the column will be known as a fixed joint or a fixed support here because now the beam and column will move together when the beam is displaced so such type of the support will be known as a fixed support because it can take the vertical reaction it will also resist the horizontal reaction r x here is r y and it will resist also the movement m that is coming from the loads so it is necessary for the fixed support that we have a fixed joint or we have monolithic construction between the different type of the structure members so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video